Hello and welcome to this WordPress tutorial brought to you by WPWiz.net. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a web server on your computer and how to install WordPress together with it. Now this might sound very complicated if you hear about web servers and installing things. You probably <clears throat> get a little bit anxious at the first thought of that. However, even if this is the first time ever that you install WordPress anywhere, I'll promise you it's going to be very easy and straightforward. So the first thing we need to do in order to create this local machine is we need to download a web server application. And there's something really handy out there which is called USB web server. And the beauty of this tool is that it's actually portable. So everything we're going to do you can take and put on a pen drive or copy to another computer at any time. So while this is being downloaded, let's also download WordPress. Go to wordpress.org. Remember not to go to wordpress.com but wordpress.org which offers the self-hosted software. And we're going to click download WordPress. Select the file here and download it. In the meantime, let's go to our downloads folder and you see the web server is already extracted is already downloaded so let's extract it at this point to our folder let's use this one here as default and in the meantime we can do the same with WordPress which we've also downloaded successfully so so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a folder preferably on our desktop so we have easily got access to our web server and we're going to install WordPress on this this portable web server application so everything is downloaded and extracted let's take the web server and this is the folder you can see the contents already let's just move this to our desktop it's just easier to navigate and we're going to rename this web server Okay, um, let's open the folder for a second and have a look. So in this folder we now have Apache which is our main web server application. We also have um, MySQL which is our database application and PHP which is a uh, programming language. And we also have PHP MyAdmin which is our database administration tool. However, let's get started. Hit USB web server. Now the first time you load this and install this basically you might get some warnings from Windows um, requesting exceptions to your firewall. Just um, click allow otherwise this won't work. Let's see if everything is, is fine. If we hit localhost we should open a web browser and there we go. Um, confirming us that this web page is already being displayed through our web server. So at this point in time you've successfully installed a web server on your computer. Now, we obviously wanted to install WordPress and in order to do so we need to create a folder in the folder called root. So root is the first folder that web pages will be displayed in. In fact the page we just saw was displayed based on these files. So let's just create a folder in here. We call it WordPress. Okay, now let's take the files that we downloaded and unzipped earlier. So let's navigate to the folder, select all, cut, go back to our web server, into the root folder, into the WordPress folder and paste. Okay. So now if I go to my local host again in the web browser and I add a trailing slash and add WordPress I'm navigating to the folder that I just created. Now it says WordPress error, but this is not an error. This is just the beginning of the installation. So it's it. let's go. At this point in time, we need to create some uh, information around the database. And we haven't done so because we haven't really created a database yet. So if you go back to the web server application and you select your PHP My Admin database administration tool, you will be prompted with a login screen. Now the first time that I installed this, I had no idea what the username and password was and I googled for it but it's actually written down here 
And because this is a local machine and a local environment, there's no security issues because this is not on the internet somewhere, this is on your computer. So let's type in the password and username as requested. Okay, so this is the start screen of PHP My Admin. Now we have to create a user um, so that WordPress can access database. And we're going to create a nice user called WordPress. So the username is WordPress. Host is localhost, again, because you're hosting this on your own machine. Password, I'll just type in my password. I can also generate a password if you want. So don't click create user just yet. Scroll down and say create database with the same name and grant all privileges. Okay, with this done, we can go back to our WordPress configuration. So we created a database user, yeah, which was WordPress. And since we said that you should create a database with the same name, there's also a database name called WordPress. I'm going to insert my password. It's localhost. And now he's asking for a table prefix. The table prefix is just something by WordPress. Um, and for security reasons, it's a good habit to replace this with something else rather than WP. So I'll call this WP with underscore. Submit. Okay, run the install. Done. Okay, now we need to create a site title. So this is my personal blog. The username is again similar to the table prefix. It's always recommended to change this and not use admin. Even though we're in a secure environment right now, if you decide to publish this blog to the internet, it's good to have it already configured correctly. So create a password, which in this case is weak, but we can change this later on and an email address and hit install. This is going to be rather quick and at this point we can log in. And voila! You've installed WordPress on your local machine. So. Let's just recap for a second. In less than eight minutes, we managed to install a web server and WordPress on your local machine. But not only that, if we go back to our installation, we have a machine here which is completely portable. So as soon as I end this program, this USB web server application, I can basically just take this and put it on a pen drive and show to a friend of mine the website that I'm designing or anything that I've done with the web server. This is a fantastic way to, to start getting used to locally working with WordPress. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and make sure you visit www.wpwiz.net when you have a second.